Okay, well, right back. I always get screwed and don't get a seat. <laughs> but uh, here is the differential engage right here for both sides, and it's actually jammed down. So if I have to put a clutch in it and all that, I'll have to get in there and look at that thing. Try to free it up. But there's no leak back here on the PTO. That's good. And they put a new shaft on it, and that's good. And I know it wobbles, so I probably have to reinforce the. Uh, eh, that thing, the drive. Yeah, I probably have to reinforce that. And uh, you can actually look at it, it's low in the middle, so it shouldn't be hitting any damn thing. But replace parts here and there. It's just no big thing right now. Um, you can see where I dug in yesterday. It's pretty stout. It's pretty strong. Yep. I'm impressed. Okay, I got a seal leak over here. Right here. That one, okay, so I'll have to get another seal for this side. Hmm. All right. Uh, I kind of look at that right now. I just double check everything. But I need to get a seal for the left side. I'll get both of them because if I'm going to do it, I'll replace them both. Let's see. Uh, if I wanted to make it four wheel drive, I could. It's, it's got a, There's a gear and a housing, an attachment housing that I can get. Oh, well, that looks fairly clean. Uh, the motor is just like crudded up dirty. It is once you open it up. And that ain't nothing right there, really and truly. And I did, I found a serial number on this thing. It, uh, down on the plate, is UL07888, well, 7884 is what it is. So it's, it's a uh, 84 model. Well, I looked it up. I had to find it through the factory of Genma. Uh, well, actually, all I need is just to take that pin out right there and get me that fold down seat, pull this shit off. But there is actually a uh, a seat that you can put and it'll fit right across that right there. Well, I had to double check it. But anything, I'll just I'll find something to put on there. I don't know, that little board is going to be like tough. The good thing is, is that's the only rust area right there, and that's fixable. And over there, that's it right there. Metal is tight on the fenders, so we pressure wash it real good and clean it everywhere. I uh, see a couple wires right there. I'm gonna take it completely apart. Be my little pet project. Try to find some new little buckets or clean it real good and. Well, me some pieces here. I need to get another handle. There's supposed to be a handle right there. Fix the fenders. I buy some fenders for the damn thing. I don't know. We'll just have to see. There you go, guys. There it is. Uh, it's anywhere from a 24 to a 26 horsepower. That's what it is. One of those two. Now, this needs to, it's going to be bent out. That needs to come over a little bit. Yep. yep. Put my bar across here, put the two pins in it, and I think I'll be okay. Get me a screen for it. I'll probably make one of them because you can see that one back there is just covered up. All right, guys. Peace. Let's work on the truck while that charges. And then a little while we'll come out and play with it. <sighs> Shit. You see how much oil and water? That little car is going in. I got a couple more of them damn things. There's about three more of these that that little car is going through. Uh, court every three days <laughs> on the car. All right, y'all. Peace. Nanny, nanny, shots, button, all that other good shit. I got to get something going.